everyone, it's Glenda from Style with Glenda K. Harrison and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So per your request, I was asked to share my top beauty and self-care products. So that's what this video is about. But let me add, I am not a beauty expert, but I do believe we must feel beautiful in our own skin in order to achieve personal style. The other thing that I want to say is that 95% of the items that I share with you in this video are all items that you can access and find on my website on my beauty bar page. I will leave a link to that page in the description section of this video. So let me get started. The first thing that I want to share with you are what I call the extras. So. Um, I am a strong advocate for essential oils. I love the way they smell. I love the way they feel. Um, I roll on peppermint essential oil before I work out. I put it on the spine of my on the spine of my neck. I roll it on the bottom of my feet, and I also have a diffuser that sits um, next to my bed on my nightstand. So recently, I found this adorable little kit by Laura Ashley. It's a portable essential oil diffuser and I use it for the car. When you open the box, it comes in this cute little faux leather pink pouch. And when you unzip it, you have, um, you'll get a cord. My cord is still in the car. And you'll get this here, this is where the diffuser oils actually are dispersed and then you'll get um, an essential oil. Now, I didn't really um, care for the lemon scent that came with this, so I switched it out for um, one of the ones that I already own. But when you open this little thing up, you plug it in to your car adapter and then when you open it up, you will find this little felt, um, little compartment here and that's where you drop your essential oils so once you add them in into that little um, section there and it's plugged in then it begins to diffuse that scent within your car so I absolutely love this again this is Laura Ashley and I found it at TJ Maxx but these are really popular so you could pretty much find a car diffuser a portable one just about in any place that sells essential oils. The next thing that I absolutely love are these little well-kept towelettes. Now, I discovered these while shopping in Anthropology a couple of years ago, but Anthropology doesn't sell them anymore, but I just ordered them direct from the Stay Well Kept website. Now, what they are, these little alcohol towelettes, and I use them to sanitize my cell phone, my eyeglasses, my sunglasses. Um, I'm a real stickler about having fingerprints on my eyeglasses and sunglasses, so I use them often. And because there's quite a bit of the, um, the liquid on the towelette, I usually then pass it on to my sons or my husband so that it gets full use out of it. The next item is, and for those of you who follow my YouTube channel, you saw me do a whole video on the Jade Roller. Well, this is my Jade Roller. I keep it in the refrigerator, and at night, after I cleanse my face and I apply my moisturizer or my oil, I then take this out of the fridge and I massage my face with it. I absolutely love this thing. Now, I'm not using it for the um, holistic properties that it says it's supposed to have because it's jade. It also comes in rose quartz and um, other stones. I just use it because it feels hecka good. So there you have it. The other thing is, now I'm in love with this little thing. I found this in Ulta recently. It's called, it's from the Vintage Cosmetic Company and it's an exfoliating face sponge. Um, inside of it is a little sponge and what you do is you allow the water to go in there and then on the top part, you apply your facial cleanser 
and then you just rub it in your face and oh my gosh it feels so good after i used this the first time i felt like i had a brand new layer of skin it was it didn't scratch it wasn't abrasive it was just very um i don't know just a soft gentle massage so look for this i have this on my um, beauty bar page i think you'll really enjoy this now the next item is, and I shared this with you, I think it was the first issue of the Dig. This is Skylar Perfume. Now, I am not a huge perfume wearer, and the reason why I'm not is because I am so sensitive to strong scents. Like even when I walk into the department store, I have to avoid the perfume area because it literally gives me a headache. And I, and I used to really hate it when they would put like those perfume samples in magazines. It just instant migraine. But with Skylar, they use sugarcane alcohol, so it doesn't have that really strong, pungent, alcoholy smell. So um, because I didn't know the scents, I went online and I ordered their little sample pack. They now have more fragrances than this one here. Um, when I ordered it, they only have four. I think they have six now. But I wrote my little notes on here um, so that I would know that when I went back to order what that scent reminded me of. So there were two of them that I really loved, and I went ahead on and bought them in the, the more portable roller ball. They fit easy into your purse. So this is Skylar Perfume. The next item is um, I shared with you guys that I um, switched from using traditional deodorant to natural deodorant. And I'm going to tell you, it was not an easy transition. Okay, I went through, let me be honest. I went through about two weeks where you wouldn't want to get near me. It was bad. And it was in the summer when I decided to make that switch. So one day, I'm just telling you the story because I want to be honest. One day, my family, we decided to go to the beach. And then about halfway down to the beach, I started smelling, you know, musty smell. And since there's all men in my family, except for me, I just assumed it was them. But it wasn't. It was me. <laughs> so I just said, oh my goodness, this is really bad. But I didn't want to give up. I was told that it takes your body time to adjust to the natural deodorant. And so finally, my body did adjust. And I found one that I really like. This is Schmidt. Um, if you look up other YouTubers who are talking about natural deodorant, Schmidt was high on the list. And the one that I love is Rose Vanilla. This is my favorite scent. And I don't have any complaints about it. I wear it, um, I work out in it. And the only thing though, you have to apply it. It's not gonna be like you just put it on once and you're good. You have to reapply. So like I'll put it on in the morning and then when I know I'm gonna go work out or something, I'll put it on again. Um, another deodorant though that I tried I got this little sample here. This is Soap Walla. Some of you may have heard of Soap Walla, but they have a cream deodorant. It actually comes in a jar. Um, this may sound really strange to you. You may feel a little weird about touching your deodorant. It doesn't come in an applicator like this or a spray. You actually use your finger. It's a cream and then you rub it under your underarm pits. Um, I've had really good luck with this one. So it's more pricey, but I really like it a lot. And I think I'm going to go for it. Um, again, that's Soap Walla. Now for my face, actually, let me go back up here. Um, this is a friend of mine. Her company is called Untamed Natural. And um, this is about my third jar of this balm. This is a Calendula balm. I love it. It smells delicious. And 
it really keeps my skin moisturized. After I step out of the shower, I apply this and it feels like heaven. So again, this is a friend of mine. She has a website. It's Untamed Natural. And again, this is the Calendula Balm. The other thing I talk often about is doing a dry brush. So that's what this is. I do a dry brush maybe once a week and I try to do it on Sunday. That's the day that I devote to my self-care. And um, this is just what it's called. It's called a dry brush. So you don't use this in the shower. You don't use it when you have moisturizer on. You do it when your skin is completely dry. And starting from your feet up, you do circular motions. And you don't press too hard because it can be a little um, rough on the skin, but it does feel good. Um, it does um, remove the dry layer of your skin. Once you use it, you take a shower, you put your moisturizer on, and you'll feel fantastic. So on to the face. Um, I'm right now using Botanics Nourishing Facial Oil, and I am a huge fan of facial oil. Recently, I went to get their facial cream and um, because I've been using oils now for about two years, I, I decided that I didn't want to make the switch back to the cream, so I'm going to stick with the oil. Um, this is the one that I'm using right now. I really do like it. There are other facial oils out there that I've used and I really like, so check out my beauty bar and you'll see. Um, I think there's one or two others that I have listed, but for oils, a lot of people say they don't want to use an oil because they may have oily skin and it'll just make them feel oilier. Well, I have an oily T-zone and I had that worry also, but it doesn't happen. I don't know what it does. Maybe it just, I don't know, plays against the oil, but when I put this on, when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels fantastic. So especially after I've used the exfoliating sponge and then I put on the oil and then I use the jade roller before I go to bed. When I wake up in the morning, my face feels like heaven. So as far as makeup, okay, this is how simple I am with makeup. It's basically just foundation, maybe foundation with powder and some type of a lip ointment. Oh, and, and a primer. That's it. I never really learned how to use eyeshadow. I never use blush. I don't know how to use concealer and all those things. It's really funny because I always feel like, oh, well, gosh, maybe I should be wearing makeup, but I I just don't really like the way my face looks or feels with a lot of makeup, so I keep it simple, really simple. So the foundation that I use, like basically when I'm going out or for photo shoots, I've been using this for a year. This is Clinique's Even Better, and this color is Sienna. They always have it in stock. Um, I love Clinique's foundation. This one works perfectly for my complexion. Even in photos, it, it blends well. You don't see that stop of two different colors where I've applied it. So yeah, Clinique even better. And before I put the foundation on, I do use um, Smashbox. This is the original photo finish. So this is just like a clear gel and I just apply a little bit on my face everywhere that I'm going to put the um, foundation and it just helps keep my foundation in place. Now as far as lipsticks, that's where I really have a lot of problems. Um, so those of you who know my journey with skincare, um, I had a huge problem with eczema when I was a little girl. And when I was 16 and my mom said, okay, you can start wearing makeup, the makeups that were available at the time for my complexion 
they, the lipsticks always made my lips break out. So I had to find lipsticks that didn't have fragrance added. So the ones that I was able to use are Clinique. So this color here is um, Avant Garde. It's like a deep maroon. I've worn this one quite a bit for photo shoots. And then I found this other brand that I love. It's called The Lip Bar and it is sold on Target. And for those of you who live on, I think the Midwest and the East Coast, cause they're from Detroit, Michigan, they actually sell the lip bar in the stores. But if you can't find it, I do have the link on my beauty bar. So the lip bar is an organic lip company. And this is actually the color that I'm wearing now. This is called Mochahito. And this one here is Merlot. It's a really dark maroon. And then my red that I wear, this is, I don't go anywhere without this red. This is called Boss Lady. And they nailed it with this red. It is a perfect blue red. It's perfect for my deep complexion. And it's actually a liquid matte. So when you put it on, it glides on um, almost like it's going to be a gloss, but when it dries, it dries matte. And I can eat all day long. I can kiss and I can do whatever, and this ain't going nowhere. The only thing that will take that off is, and the final um, beauty product that I use to get my makeup off is called Take the Day Off by Clinique. I just found this and I am hooked. This jar will probably last me a long time because I don't wear a lot of makeup. So it's just like this, I don't know, it's, it's almost like a, like a body butter. But when I, I take this, this a little bit, a little goes a long way, and I rub it all over my face concentrating on my lips when I have that boss lady on and it just melts off. Then I take a warm cloth and I remove the rest. I usually give myself an extra wash with my, um, whatever I use to cleanse my face. And then I moisturize and all the makeup is removed, not a trace. So that's it ladies and gentlemen. These are all the products that I use, that I love, and that I think you'll love them too. But before I go, I have to share with you, this video is sponsored by Sensational Soaps. And Sensational Soaps is a homemade, deliciously de decadent product of skincare. Soaps, body butters, fragrance, and it is owned by my dear friend Tashanta Hogan and she was so kind to send me three of her soaps to use in a giveaway to my readers of The Dig. So you have to be a subscriber of The Dig in order to enter this contest. So in about a week when the January issue of The Dig comes out, you are going to see a picture of her lovely soaps and you will see how you can enter the contest to win these beauties. She has sent me an oatmeal, a lavender, and a Moroccan mint soap. All of these will be yours. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. And for now, have a good day. Bye.